five ghosts caught on camera. Following. If you're a regular viewer of Nuke's Top 5, then you probably remember Czech ghost hunter ILM and Bono Paranormal. I featured some of his previous terrifying explorations at an abandoned car factory in the past. No. No, no way. No way. Some, uh... <laughs> no way. The old car factory in the city of Ostrava, Czech Republic has been abandoned for almost 60 years after a large explosion took the lives of several workers. Locals claim that the angry spirits of the deceased workers still haunt the decaying old factory. At the end of his previous exploration, Bono fled in terror, but his viewers wanted to see more. So reluctantly, ILM and Bono once again returns to the spooky abandoned car factory. And this time, even though he's understandably very nervous, he promises his new audience that he'll do his best to keep calm and not run away from anything. But it turns out that that promise might be a bit hard to keep. This room, I just wanted to check because in the previous video I ran from it and a lot of you hated me for uh, running from this uh, room. I will try not to run away from anything and try and stay calm. But there's... what? <laughs> you won't believe me. I just got spooked by my hair. Wow. I'm a real ghost hunter. The nervous ghost hunter actually gets spooked by his own hair. But he laughs it off and continues. As he makes his way through dark winding hallways deeper and deeper into the abandoned factory, he starts to get an uneasy feeling that he might not be alone. Je tu někdo se mnou v téhle místnosti? A door slams shut somewhere near the frightened ghost hunter. As he tries to find the source of the loud sound, he finds an open door into a small bathroom area. Now what's especially odd is that the door to the bathroom area had been locked shut earlier, making the room inaccessible. But now the door is mysteriously open. In a later investigation, Bono carefully enters the bathroom area and begins to explore. It did not go well. Hello. I hear something, bro, from this place. No. No. Ja, ja jsem tu přišel jenom prohledavé, já jsem chtěl jenom nějaké fotky. Já tu ne... ne. Hello? Did you see it? When looking into the last bathroom stall, the sight of an unexpected dark figure sends Bono running out into the hallway. He assumes that he has stumbled upon a homeless person or some other stranger. So Bono calls out, explaining that he's only there to explore, nothing else. When no one answers, Bono carefully walks back toward the stall. Hello. No freaking way. There is literally no one. There's no one there. Later in the investigation, Bono heads to a room in the abandoned car factory, which seems to be the most supernaturally active. Bono has caught several frightening, unexplained occurrences in this room. This, yeah, this is the room that I, all of you know the story of. Those, uh, these are the cups, and this is the closet. I'm, it. I'm sorry, I'm out of here. No, 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 I'm not going. Yeah, I, I know I said I wouldn't run away, but in this room especially, this room is really like uh, aggressive, the spirits in this room, so 
I don't want to get hurt. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I also wanted to check. Oh! Hello. Almost immediately, the door of a fridge swings open on its own, and Bono just leaves. But no matter where Bono goes, something seems to be following him. Oh! Oh. 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 Nope. I'm sorry. That was too aggressive. The unexplained activity only seems to get even more aggressive as Bono explores the abandoned factory. It's almost as if something just does not want him there. As Bono heads down one of the dark hallways of the creepy abandoned building, things take yet another terrifying turn. Anyway, uh, I think there's one more room, uh, I don't know what, one more thing that I want to show you. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Here to go. The sound of glass falling to the floor catches Bono's attention, and as he turns around, the same shadow figure he saw earlier seems to be watching him. So he gathers his courage and walks back to investigate. No one there. Bono basically says that he is done. He ends the investigation and leaves the factory. So did Bono capture real ghost activity on camera? Are the ghosts of the workers that passed away inside the factory angry that he has disturbed them? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can watch Bono's entire six part series at the abandoned car factory over on his YouTube channel, ILMN Bono Paranormal. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Forgotten. Popular Korean ghost hunter Yoon Shuan goes out to explore an abandoned house in the middle of the night. Yoon claims in his YouTube videos that while he does sometimes film at allegedly haunted locations, he never fakes or fabricates any of the creepy activity that he captures in his investigations. But just like everyone else, Yoon Shuan can occasionally get a little spooked, sometimes by something silly. Yoon Shuan completely forgets that he's using a spirit box phone app when suddenly a loud voice from the app warns him, be careful. Yoon gets jump scared by his own app and flies into a bit of a rage. So, one dark and stormy night, Yoon finds himself in a strange house that has a bit of a creepy past. Locals say that the house was built on top of a graveyard and that some of the graves were never moved. Yoon has no idea why the property was abandoned, but he is determined to find out. He sets up a REM pod EMF detector at the front doorway entrance, and similar to before, he then completely forgets about it. Oh, what? Oh, 아, 제 놀린 게 놀래서 그런 게 아니에요. 놀래서 그런 게 아니라 어, 장비 잘 작동하고 있는지 확인해서 그런 겁니다. Yoon jokes around and boldly claims that he's not scared. But soon things become a bit scarier for the ghost hunter as he wanders too close to his own rim pod and accidentally sets it off himself. So Yoon decides to use a phone app called Snow that similar to Snapchat can detect faces and then add a filter or mask. And things get a bit creepy. Snow is not a ghost. 
참고만 하는 그런 그런 거 보시면 돼요. 수능 한번 해볼게요. 여기 이건 무시. 안녕하세요. 당신 어디 있습니까? 분신사와 분신사와 오디세이 재밌어. 오호. 저는 뭐야? 이건 뭐야? 이거 브이러시 같은데 뭔데? 뭔데? 반응이 조금 없지 않아 있어? 오! 아, 진짜 잠깐만 야! 이거 쓰러지게 어! 방이 있어! 몰랐어! 보일러시인 줄 알았네? 뭐야! 야 이따구로 다될 거야? 잠깐만! 오 씨! 더, 더. On his phone seems to be picking up a face right in front of a closed door. When he kicks it open, he discovers an empty room. The door then slams shut on its own. Now, this could be explained away as a draft of air blowing the door closed. But what happens next is a little harder to explain. Yoon places the REM pod right in front of the mysterious closing door and then continues to use the phone face detecting app. What happens next is truly bizarre. Oh, sh**! Oh, my God! 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 잠깐 그 앞쪽으로 나와줄 수 있어요? 오, 오! 오, 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 씨. 기자하고 있어서 그랬어. 어, 야, 잠깐만. 어, 그 잠깐만 진짜 진짜 깜짝 놀라서 그래. 형들 죄송해요. 소리 질러서 진짜 미안한데. 개가 좀. Again, the phone app seems to see a face right in front of the door, and this time the REM pod also detects something. Then, when the door slams shut, Yun Chuan gets the scare of a lifetime. However, the most terrifying part of his time inside the house is not. What he saw or heard. You see, earlier in the night, when the REM pod at the front entrance suddenly detects movement, Yoon captures something on camera without even knowing it. Something downright chilling. Did you see it? The door to the strange room slowly opens right in front of him and then the REM pod right behind him detects movement. When he turns around, Yoon captures what appears to be a figure outside the house, walking from right to left. Whatever it is seems to only be visible on camera because Yoon just doesn't see it. He only discovered this creepy capture after going back through his footage later. So what do you think? Is it real? Or is it all just a hoax? As always, you decide. You can check out this full video over on the YouTube channel, Shawan Yoon. Attachment. Ghost Hunting brothers Josh, Sean, and Rocky Foreman from the YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmare TV series were contacted by a family in Bloomington, Indiana 
who claim that they are experiencing a terrifying and violent haunting inside their home. The family claims they see the hooded apparition of a man in their bedrooms late at night, and they've witnessed the spirit of a young girl running through their house. But that's not all. Water faucets in the house turn on by themselves. The family hears unexplained talking and banging. During the night, something tugs at their blankets, and they find random unexplained bruises all over their bodies. But most terrifying of all, one day the kitchen stove gas is turned on without them knowing and left on for hours, putting the entire family in grave danger. The homeowner, Ron Hudson, believes that all of this strange activity could possibly be caused by the restless spirit of his deceased brother. Okay, my brother passed away, it's been a, almost eight years ago, but he was cremated and his remains are in this, this box. This is the urn type thing that they put those ashes in after a cremation, so. That's my brother. <laughs> but the idea that it could be Ron Hudson's brother doesn't really explain the violent nature of the haunting. After all that has happened to the family, the mother and daughter, Virginia and Jean Marie, believe that the supernatural presence in their home might be something much more sinister. The Foreman brothers stay overnight to investigate the paranormal activity inside the home. During their investigation, they capture unexplained figures on their SLS camera and catch strange voices on their spirit box. I feel like it's cold. Oh, there is something by you. Is there? Because mm -hmm. my back's getting cold. Go by the bed. Oh, there it is. We can see you. Are you evil? Now all of the evidence that they capture is pretty creepy, but when the three brothers sit down to interview Mom Virginia, they capture something downright terrifying. And you know, we see shadows a lot. I'm always thinking somebody's behind me. We hear it like a shadow went straight through that room over there. Yeah, those two sitting on the couch and then you were sitting behind there. <laughs> So there's nobody else in the house with us. So to see something walk through there, I can't explain it. An unexplained figure is seen walking behind Virginia in the hallway. Now keep in mind, the entire family and all of the Foreman brothers are sitting in the living room at the time of this recording. There is no one else in the house. So just who or what is that? Could it be that Ron Hudson is right? Is it his brother walking towards his own death urn? Or could it be something much more dark and sinister? As always, I leave it up to you to decide. You can check out this full video and many more great paranormal investigations over on the channel Paranormal Nightmare TV Series. Grave. Paranormal YouTuber and Facebook live streamer El Payaso de la Toledo sets out to investigate the allegedly haunted Los Mochis Cemetery in Mexico. He's joined by his friends and fellow video creators Lorena Jacobo and Munra Vlogs. The investigators head to the graveyard to investigate the alleged paranormal sightings of the quote, Lady in the White Jacket, a local paranormal legend of a ghost woman who is said to walk the cemetery. However, once the group begins their investigation and invites the spirits of the old cemetery to show themselves, they don't see the lady in the white jacket. But it seems they might have disturbed an entirely different spirit in the Los Mochis Cemetery. El Payaso de la Toledo broadcasts the entire investigation live to his Facebook page as the three friends witness something absolutely terrifying. <laughs> Seres de luz, seres de oscuridad que se encuentren en este cementerio. Les pedimos que se manifiesten. Lo hagan con ruidos, lamentos, golpes. Queremos verlos, escucharlos. Queremos saber si están cerca de nosotros. Que se hagan sentir.
que Pasó es un eso? niño, güey. Pasó un, un niño, güey. Un niño. Pasó un niño por aquí. ¿Dónde, güey? Por aquí, payaso. Sí, sí, era un niño, güey. Para acá se metió. Sí. Investigator Moonra Vlogs blows air into his hand to make some sort of call, possibly to create energy for the spirits to use to manifest themselves. And that's when the figure of a small pale child can be seen running across the cemetery path. The creepy apparition disappears behind the gravestones. Now keep in mind that this is all being streamed live as the team immediately goes looking for the mysterious child. And that's when things get even stranger. ¿En dónde estás? Está llorando. Sí, no mames. Niño. Ay, no mames, güey. Se está riendo. Por aquí se debe está estar, riendo, wey. payaso. Anda un niño aquí. Hoy. ¿Sí? No, eso me recuerda como, como que abrieron una reja o, o una puerta, güey. When calling out to the child, the three investigators hear unexplained cries and laughter. They have no idea why a child would possibly be in the graveyard this late at night, and they continue searching out of concern for the child. But when it becomes clear that there is no one else in the cemetery, they start to believe that they might have witnessed an actual child spirit. They change tactics and start to ask the spirit to once again appear before their eyes. Si eres un niño, si eres un demonio, si eres lo que seas, te pedimos que te acerques. Queremos verte de nuevo. Queremos escucharte. Uy, jule. Aquí el otro, ¿no, compa? ¿Le estás hablando? ¿Dónde estás? Ándalo a saber. ¿Qué fue? ¿Algo pasó? Sí. Sí, algo pasó, compa. ¿Qué fue? ¿Quién eres? Mira, mira. Aquí corrió. Aquí corrió algo. ¿Qué corrió? Aquí estás, niño. ¿En dónde estás? Ándalo a saber, mira, mira, espérame. Ay, no, no mames. Si es un niño, güey. Si es un niño, si es un niño. Si es un niño, güey. Si es un niño. Espérame. Amigos, si es un niño, güey. Si es un niño. Por aquí pasó, güey. Si es un niño, si es un niño. A ver, güey. Strange sounds seem to surround the three investigators and again the figure of a small child runs across the cemetery path, disappearing amongst the gravestones. The team runs to find the child, but there's no one there. The mysterious child seems to have disappeared into thin air. So did Mexican ghost hunter El Payaso de la Toledo and his friends Lorena Jacobo and Munra Vlogs capture the ghost of a restless child playing amongst the tombstones? Or is it just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Unholy. Urban explorer Christopher Hill from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill is back on another exploration to a new abandoned location. This time he explores the first Hungarian reformed church in Cleveland, Ohio. Built in 1904, the church was in use for almost 100 years before it was abandoned in 2003. It has sat empty for almost 18 years, but vandalism and the elements have taken their toll on the old church. It now exists in a severe state of decay. Christopher records as he explores the church grounds, finding an old piano and a broken down electric organ. As he plays around with the dead keys of the old organ, the explorer captures something very creepy and unexpected 
on camera. That's crazy. No, I heard the piano. What the? F oh yeah. The keys of the broken electric organ make no sound, but suddenly the piano across the room blasts out a note as if something unseen slammed down on one of its keys. Christopher is shocked and makes his way over to the piano to check it out, but he finds nothing out of the ordinary. Then a chair suddenly tips over by itself. The urban explorer has had enough and decides to just get out of there. As he makes a quick exit, we can hear the loud unexplained sounds of unknown objects crashing to the floor right behind him. So did Chris capture paranormal activity inside the 100-year-old church? Let me know what you think. You can check out this full video and more creepy explorations over on his YouTube channel, Urbex Hill. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram there and on Twitter there, and I'll see you next week.